Hello, welcome back to Bitcoin Beats. Wait for the drop. Hope you're having a fantastic day here. My name is Hamilton. I'm a professional trader. I'm going to be walking you through the Bitcoin markets today. So get ready, okay? No affiliate links, no sponsors, no nothing, okay? Just free, valuable content from someone who actually trades the markets, all right? Here we go. So short term for Bitcoin, the mid term for Bitcoin, the long term for old Bitty here. And we're also going to tap on Ethereum, a little, little booty tap on Ethereum right here, right? And then, <laughs> and then we're, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the video, right? Uh, do have a webinar tonight as well, completely free to attend. If you do feel like you are learning quite easily in this video at any point, then feel free to attend that. It's going to be at 7 p.m. UK time. I will be emailing everyone that signed up an hour before. So feel free to attend that completely free, as I said. Um, we're going to be learning a strategy of how to play the trending markets. And if we do recover here, it will be a trending market again. So we are all good here. Yeah. We are all good. But without further ado, what has happened here coming through with Bitcoin, with old Bitty? What can we say? What can we do? Well, basically, um, we, we've had a bit of a, an interesting one, okay? We've had... Um a bit of a girthy dump coming through. Uh, we did test the bottom side of this kind of area, right? We said, essentially, this could be an area where we could bottom out, right? This could still not be the bottom, right? We could still dump from this point quite easily, but it is looking better, okay? Uh, in terms of what's happened, though, bit of a dump, right? <clears throat> very, very trappy candles, as you can see around here. What I was hoping for was a, uh, an ascending triangle kind of structure, as you can see, right? Uh, we did have a massive trap here towards uh, the end of yesterday, as you can see, right? Uh, and then complete reversal, complete recovery, reclaiming the volume weighted ATR band, which we've said in the past, right? Uh, when we do uh, go sideways and we do get these massive dumps, essentially, when we do reclaim these bad boys, it can often signify the end of the downtrend, right? As you can see. So, uh, in that sense, with that knowledge here, we can say, yes, it is looking a bit better, okay? It is looking a bit better. The confirmation for me here, uh, and again, this is still very steep. We can still make a lower high quite easily here, so be careful in this area. I will stress that a, a, a lot, right? <laughs> uh, be very careful in this area because it's, it's an area where we can basically fall off at any point here uh, with this being so steep. Typically, what you'll see here uh, with something this steep is, is basically to come up, make a lower high, and then come down. Maybe not that high, but uh, typically your, your standard kind of diagonal thing coming through and then breaking down. Right? I'm not saying that's going to happen, guys, but what I would say is be prepared in case it does, right? And that does bring me to predictions here. So uh, with predictions, we do have this, this trend line that I've been trying to draw in here on uh, on the old uh, on the old Binance, but you can see, right? Respect, respect, respect. Trap over, trap over. Uh, so if we adjust this trend line to where those traps lead, they still don't work out fantastically. But if we were to basically do that, uh, like like so, right? You can see. Yeah, it's good enough. It's good enough here. And it does look like we are trying or we have gone over it and potentially uh, retested that as well already, right? Uh, in terms of measure moves, though, in terms of patterns, in terms of what are we looking for here, this is a little small. Uh, uh, that's not the right tool. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so this is this is a little small here for me. Uh, but if we do get up higher, uh, we could be looking at a measure move up to 52, which uh, personally for me, 52 is going to be my rejection point, uh, my area where I'm, I'm looking very closely at based on the fact that we have our 200 here, right, our 200 EMA and our 200 SMA uh, around this zone, right? So if we're going to reject, if we're going to test something and make a lower high, it's going to be around this area for me, right? Uh, there are multiple things here that, that suggests we can go up as well though but for me the nail in the coffin for going up here would be getting above basically 52 uh, 53 area really okay and that's based on uh, a few things this horizontal support as well right the the moving averages as we just said right and the fact that uh, this is this is very steep and a lower high here would make sense rather than just a, a massive v-shaped recovery all the all the way straight up to the moon mars and beyond right okay 
that's it. Uh, that's what I would say there for the short term. Uh, again, if we do come down, what we're looking for here is basically to lose this trend line again. Okay, we've trapped below it a few times for sure, but really this is a confluence point, a catalytic point that we need to basically stay above uh, to maintain this trend. Um, and if we do make a lower high and we lose that again, I would expect potentially to get a bit lower here, right? Uh, the, 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 the real signification here for us to basically reverse and continue up here is basically if we come down and we we make a higher low. If we make a higher low here, uh, something like this, right uh, around this area at 48k again, then that's going to be uh, something that that's suggesting that we will continue up, and it will also print out some kind of bigger ascending triangle if we were to reject around this area, right? Uh, so th this is essentially what I'm looking for coming forward. We did talk about having a bigger accumulational consolidational zone here right uh, where we can essentially get a massive pattern coming through here and with a massive pattern like this if something like this does happen then uh, what we can do even if it is an ascending triangle something like this right we can still plot out big enough measure moves here to take trades with and actually make the good the gates coming through here right and this this kind of measure move coming through would would actually uh, make a lower higher as well which could signify an even bigger bigger uh, range to, to come through as well right again we have lost our volume weighted move uh, one volume weighted ATR bands uh, on a few time frames here let me just fix up the wad machine on the midterm and then we will get to that in a minute uh, let's just get that 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 golden that's what we love there we go. Is that is that everything? Yes, that's pretty much everything, right? <laughs> so, a pretty meaty indicator, but so useful, so good, right? Yeah, so this is what I'm saying, right? So we've lost this, and I'll just bring this to the midterm predictions right now. So just to, just to clarify this on the short term, yes, uh, if we can make a bigger pattern, that's great, um, but it's going to be over a few days, right? If we do just head up straight from here, then uh, we're looking essentially to get over 55k uh, to get that higher high uh, and return up to the 60k zone, and then cut that bad boy like butter, okay? Like a uh, like a hot knife cutting some camembert. Mm, we like that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but if we do make a, a, a lower high here and we do play out a bigger range, that's cool. As of right now, it's okay to just watch and, and let this do its thing and, and we'll talk about some long-term stuff in a minute as well. Um, but ideally, yes, we're looking for sideways. Sideways is good in this area, okay? If we do just head up straight to the moon from here, it's cool. I'm actually happy letting this do its thing and taking a long off 60k if we break it, right? Um, or even, uh, as we'll look, talk about on the, the midterm now, right, uh, a bigger, even bigger pattern here uh, to make an even bigger measure move to make even more money. That's what it's about at the end of the day, right? Make money. Make money here, right? So uh, what, what we can see here with our volume weighted ATR band here coming through on the midterm, we're talking about the four hour here. Other channels will talk about this as the short term, but uh, sorry, as the, yeah, as the short term, but uh, me personally, I consider this the midterm just because Bitcoin's a lot more of a, a, a volatile asset and going down to these micros uh, should be considered the short term, in my opinion, right? Other people won't agree with me. And again, it's not really, uh, for me, it's not really like that bad if, if people disagree on something like this, because it's not going to really affect the money you make. You're still trading the same way, right? So, uh, yeah, the main point here with the midterm is this volume weighted ATR band, right? We lost this considerably, right? This was a big old girthy megalithic dump. We tried to save it here with massive buys coming through, but uh, no bueno here did not work. Uh, and, and we smashed it down, right? We smashed it down. We tested the 200 EMA. And now what we're looking for here, guys, is essentially a higher low, as we said, right? So if we can come down here and, and reject off these three very important moving averages here, right? Um, around this 50, 51, 52k zone, then uh, it's essentially this next wave down, which is going to be the decider of whether we are in uh, a bit of a longer downtrend or even a bigger pattern, right? Again, guys, my positions, I'm not in a position right now, okay? I'm chilling in cash, letting this do its thing. We made our 10% or wherever it was, right? It was it was a girthy trade here. We made uh, just rinse and repeat trade here on the uptrend. Uh, and as this comes down, as this does trap, as this does go sideways, uh, this is where we eye up our next measure move, right? So let's just say we come down here right let's just say uh, we make a smaller higher low here uh, but overall we're looking at potentially uh, just some kind of pattern like this right if if this if this comes in like this then yes it's going to be a little bit bullish but what i'm looking for here is is essentially a big pattern to form and that way when we break over those important trend lines here we can look 
for the measure move, right? And uh, I don't want to be too repetitive here, but this is essentially what we're looking for, right? Uh, this is very early and very hypothetical. This is not a prediction, but this is what I'm looking for for the next trade, okay? And that's essentially what you guys care about at the end of the day, right? Uh, how I'm thinking about the next trade, not signals or not. Is it going up, Hamilton? Should I log now? Is now a good time to buy Bitcoin? As a lot of my uh, Facebook friends will, will tell me, right? Hamilton, you know Bitcoin. Is now a good time to buy Doge or, or whatever? Like, no, bro, don't buy that. Don't buy GME. Don't do it. You will lose money, okay? No one listens to me and they all lose money and they come back to me like, oh, I should have listened to you, bro. I lost 5k. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Ran over. Let's go. Uh, so we've got 55k here on the measure move if we reject here and come down, which I am expecting to be honest, guys, but uh, we know how Bitcoin behaves, right? Uh, when it's up, it just goes up. So uh, if we do grind through this today, what we're looking for is actually a bit better here, which is another rejection, okay? And that might sound barbaric. How dare you suggest Bitcoin go, go down, right? Bitcoin only goes up. Yes, okay, if we do grind through this like this, uh, what happens when we do stuff something like this, right? We get a spillover. We go up, we spill over, right? So if we do keep a trajectory that is this steep, I am expecting a spillover at some point, whether it's there, uh, whether it's here, right, or, or whether it's up here at the top, okay? Something like this is what I'm expecting over the next few days. Uh, and coming into a weekend as well, it would make sense because the whales will have more control then, uh, and, and that, in in a sense, will, will be less manipulated from the institutions, right? And so less people can buy it, which means they're more likely to dump it down and uh, make everyone confused, right, in that sense. But um, something like this to come through any of these areas we can reject from personally for me right uh, 60k is obviously going to be a prominent one we we didn't actually get that high right we didn't get that high on Binance so uh, coming up tapping 60k banging it down here making a bigger pattern here uh, would be applicable it would be plausible it would be something that I would say hey what is the pattern coming through if we do get rejected here right uh, we have all of these areas where we can make patterns from right uh, and I hope this makes sense to you guys. But um, yeah, let's just say we reject right at the top here at 60K. Uh, the golden scenario here, what does this look like? It looks like a nice, beautiful, girthy channel here. So if we do come down here, right, if we do come down and we make a massive channel and we confirm these two highs coming through and then we confirm a low here as well, then what that's gonna do is say, hey, this is the measure move. This is the golden one. This is gonna be the big beefy. The big old beefy chicken McNugget rap bap all over you, right? This is the big tasty of trades coming through. $72,000 Bitcoin if that does come into fruition, okay? But this is still very hypothetical. The reason why we're drawing this out right now is to be prepared, right? We're not saying it's going up long because we don't know, right? At the end of the day, this is a very sideways area, very trappy candles to look at, wiki Wednesday, right? But if we do head up here, yes, we can scalp it on the way up. But if it maintains this kind of trajectory as a steeper trajectory, be careful and uh, be expecting another dump, okay? For sure. We can still dump off a cliff here very easily. A lot of moving averages above us. We are testing the price action channel for the first time since the dump. So yeah, typically you would expect to bounce down anyway, right? So if we do come down here and we get saved and then we make an ascending triangle, yeah, we'll have a little measure move there anyway that potentially we can play up to the 56s anyway, right? But as of right now, I don't want to be sat here saying it's going down or it's going up because it's tough to say, right? What I would expect to happen is, yes, a small small bounce down here for sure, okay? But... Um the, the 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 main point here is what we're looking for. We're looking to filter out what patterns can be made here, whether it's ascending, whether it's channels, when it's flags, whatever, right? Uh, as that next pattern, pattern forms, then what we can do is make the measure move, and that's what you need to be looking for. That's, what, that's the next trade at the end of the day. This is tradable, for sure, okay? But if you don't have the right knowledge and you're not uh, an expert, right, it doesn't make sense to be losing money with that, right? If we do bring up something like the sideways money here, which I haven't talked about in a while, right? What you can do is actually filter out the correct um, time frame to see what's going on. But this is going to be very, uh, very interesting to say the least. This is going to be uh, quite a hit and miss because it is so volatile, right? But uh, what I can say is, yeah, this 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 was even an hourly here, right? Um, would have been nice here to make some trades if you if you do look to see where we do get to, right? So uh, that's what I would say there. And just be careful with something like this because it is volatile for sure. But there are trades to be made if you if you can spot the correct time frame, as you can see, right? So uh, that would be that. Um, but yeah, if you don't have those tools, don't worry about it. It's uh, it's 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 a it's a tough tough thing to be doing uh, if you if you aren't experienced, right? Program members, you know what to do, right? But uh, everyone else here, just be careful. Wait for that next pattern. Just chill out here. Not financial advice. Again, you're liable for your own trades. Um, but I would say, yeah, 
it's, it's okay to wait here in, in such an uncertain area. As I always say, right, these kind of areas are designed to take your money. Why, why try and trade these areas when you can literally wait for a break up here with a nice pattern behind us, right? Uh, with a nice measure move behind us as well. Nice volume spike as well. Bang it in, make the girthy gains uh, and not worry about these kind of areas, right? Because uh, there are better opportunities. As we say with the poker analogy, right? Wait for aces. Don't be trading your seven deuce. Don't be trading your off suits or anything like that. If you don't know poker, don't worry about it. But <laughs> uh, don't be trading every hand right just wait for the aces that's what we're after here at the end of the day moving on to uh, uh, uh we, sh we should talk about the bearish side as well right if we do lose this 44k bad for old bitty here 42k would be the next target and the absolute bottom here 36k uh, i don't know if 36k is is gonna be hit personally guys 39k pro maybe if we uh, maybe at a wick down okay but uh just be careful here okay as i said let this do its thing don't be taking shorts in a bull market okay uh and wait for that next long to really surface right that's that's essentially what what i'm looking for anyway right so Long-term predictionies here, the 12-hour, if we're looking at the moving average, yeah, pretty neutral, uh, pretty in between these moving averages. Yes, we've bounced off the 55 pretty nicely so far. We can bounce up from this quite easily, but uh, we now have the 21 holding us down. If you can't see that, if you can't see that, let me just uh, let me just show you a little bit easier here. Let's just, let's just get rid of that for a second, right? And uh, let's just get rid of that as well, right? You can see this, right? Uh, we come down, we bounce off the 55, pretty standard stuff. We tried to bounce off the 21, no good, okay? Big girthy dumpage here, and this can happen, right? We're, we're not guaranteed to pump off a moving average for sure, but um, when you are looking at momentum and the way Bitcoin behaves, uh, yes, actually we have something very, very similar here like we did, right? So. Yeah, something like this repetitiveness uh, could could come into fruition quite easily, right? Uh, but yeah, we don't always bounce on the 21. Uh, we usually bounce on the, the 10 if the, if the trend is strong, okay? But typically what you're expecting here with uptrends is to bounce on each moving average, right? Uh, so something like uh, each moving average, then we lose the moving averages and then we come down lower, right? until the next trend does begin and the next trend starts, right? Uh, so with this, yes, we have, we tried to bounce on this, we failed, we got rejected at the next moving average. And this is why I say, if you are a beginner, guys, it's okay to just trade when we're above all the moving averages, right? Rather than in this kind of in-between zone when it's a lot harder to trade. If we get up above here, right? And this is gonna be more predictions here, right? 52K, again, as we said, um, yeah, 53 really today, I would say, yeah. Over the next few days, it would come down naturally. But if we can get back above there, yeah, the uptrend is potentially back on. And if we do have a measure move to support that, that's great. Uh, we can actually trade that, right? That's going to be a way healthier scenario, uh, which you should be basically taking, right? If, if you if you are uh, good enough there, right? But we can see here a little bit of a rejection so far. We are back above the price action channel, which is good. Okay, but again, this is going to be a very choppy area to say the least. We can see that on every time frame here. Big chop coming through here, a uh, big chop coming through here, right? And you can see, yeah, just in between all the movie averages right now, um, you can try and bounce if you if you are a lot more experienced, right? Uh, try and play the range here, but just be careful, as I say, right? Because we don't know if this has ended yet. We've tested, we tested this moving average, we came down, right? We tested this moving average. We don't know if we're gonna go down lower than that. And if we do, it's gonna be a longer form consolidation here, which I would say for the longer term here, uh, we're going to be looking back at one this trend line coming through this is an important trend line to say the least right is this a trend line what is going on this isn't a trend line hang on did i hang on let me just take a look at this let me just... oh yeah it was on a daily right so it is a trend line okay we have already lost it there we go <laughs> this is the problem where you use uh when you use uh moving averages right oh no it's still valid i would say it's still valid just okay um we'll see maybe i'll do this on a weekly or something maybe i'll draw on a weekly i don't know I even know. Maybe I'll look at my video from yesterday and see what's, what's good there. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it was on a, a higher time frame like that. But anyway, 12 hour here. Uh, in summary here, uh, just ignore this. Actually, we're just going to delete this. Just, just delete. What we're looking for here, right? What we're looking for here is essentially this blue box if we do lose it, right? Back to the blue boxes here. Let's just get rid of the, uh, the, the WAD machine for now, right? Blue boxes coming through. Yes, uh, we are looking potentially like we can bounce off this and continue up. But if we don't, if we do continue down here, and again, very choppy area to say the least, right? If we do continue down here, uh, the next zone, the next zone, and not to short there, I'm just saying the next zone where we're looking for a long um, 
is potentially around this zone 39 38k but i wouldn't expect to get that low if we do get that low i expect it to be a wick and then continuation upwards here right uh, what i'd be looking for here if we do make something like this and even if it is for a few months or whatever right this is going to be girth this is the big girth coming through this is going to be the pattern of all patterns where we can literally just be like big bop over there big trades coming through uh, and really expect to to tap on that 60k and maybe even higher than that right uh, so that's what i would say there for the long term uh, pretty much the same scenario same story on every every uh every time frame right now right i don't want to get too repetitive but what i will say here is this parabolic trend is still looking pretty good don't worry too much here even coming down to, to like the 30ks here and our extreme crash scenario here uh, where the stock market does implode everything comes down right bitcoin i do still expect to bounce on this floor which we talked about yesterday that floor for bitcoin coming in around 30k at the moment right so if we do come down there we've got the horizontal support of 30k we've got the floor which i'm expecting to hold no matter what as long as we're in a bull market this should hold okay uh, that's a fact if we lose it again looking at that stream scenario if we lose this floor at 30k uh, it would start a bear market right but then we've got the tools the bottom of this round of blues here where we can say yeah 14k would hold we we'll take a long off 14k uh, we literally hold it all the way back up to this bull market barrier here uh, and we can just plot out the tops like we did before until that next transitional period right and this is what i mean about having tools for everything uh, having a plan for every scenario and that way if we do dump into the abyss or, or whatever like let's let's talk about the 20k run real quick right if we do dump through and we lose it um we have an area where we're expecting a bottom right and uh, we have an area if we start a trend up again where we're expecting a top right and each time this plots out a top so so nicely okay so yes every cycle you should have a plan every scenario you should have a plan as bitcoin is just having a bit of a girthy dump here off of a cliff um pretty much as expected right we were expecting a second wave down so we'll see how this goes this looks so messy it just looks so messy oh god okay i'm not gonna apologize for it guys I, I got the message across okay i got the message across it's the value at the end of the day it's not the neatness okay um but we can see yeah, we'll see if this does hold, but a bit of a, a bit of a dump here to, to, to really say so. Um, but yeah, in the kind of, uh, in, in the, what's the, what's the word here? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> let's just, let's just say yes. We come down here. This is going to be in the interest. That was it. In the interest of where, uh, where is the support? It's going to be here, right? It's going to be here. This is going to be the next major, major support for me. 40K, okay. Uh, I don't expect to lose that. I don't actually expect to get that low. Uh, what I would expect is personally just traps around this area like we had at 30K, okay. Uh, and then from that point, we bang it up uh, and then we, we, we continue our bullish trend, right? If that doesn't happen, we're prepared for it. If it does happen, great, okay. And if we continue this bullish run up to 100K or more, even better we got plans for all of that stuff right so it's okay chill calm relax we're not in a bear market yet we're actually miles off a bear market so uh we are chill here right uh kind of on a, a little bit of a support here for sure right if we don't bounce from here potential here to break structure a little bit but again uh, as i say right if we do if we do plot out something like this right um and then we copy and paste it we could be looking at a next big pattern being something uh, more on this side right and this is quite wedgy okay but if we do bounce off this kind of area talking about like 43k that kind of zone right then we could be looking at a very very nice measure move even higher right and these are my favorite patterns because they do often they are they are a bearish pattern they're wedges right at the end of the day but if you do end up making some kind of channel here which is still bearish uh, i found with bitcoin if it isn't an uptrend uh, if it isn't a parabolic trend like this right uh, you can get ridiculous measure moves here from them when they break towards the upside, right? So that would be an 80k zone, dude. That that, that would be 80k, bruh. That's insane. So uh, what I will say is, yeah, just be be careful in this area. Just really want to uh, keep that in. Uh, webinar tonight, if you do want to learn a little bit more about the trend and, and the trades you could have made uh, throughout this run and and the continuation of the run as well, right? Uh, looking at Ethereum here, might find some support here. I did buy a little bit, okay, guys? I did buy a little bit when we, when we started going up here back above uh, 1,500. Uh, just, look, I sold like literally over here as we said, right? So, 
uh, as we start to kind of reverse that trend a little bit on, on Ethereum, it looked pretty good. I basically said, hey, yeah, I'll pick up a little bit more for the hodl as I, I do still believe it's at a bull run. Uh, I, I cashed out on a, on a lot of my dot here, which did actually uh, completely recover as you can see, right? But uh, what I will say with dot is I'm a, I'm still happy, right? I'm happy with that. I, this is basically where I sold. Okay, so if we go up or down from here, I'm chill. Okay, I still have half of it in. I've made, the, the reason why I'm not really fretting, if this goes up to like 60K now, I'm not gonna be there like, oh, I could have made double the money because I took half of it out. No, I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, I'm happy. It's, it's about what you made, okay? It's about what you made. And uh, with this asset, I bought a $5. So I made, I was expecting this to get to maybe $20 over a year, okay? So uh, when, I, when I make basically triple, quadruple that or whatever, right? I'm happy to take half and leave the rest in. Uh, that way, it's not a, an investment I care about too much, and I'm just letting this run, right? I've made back the money I put in. I've, I've actually tripled the money I put in. To, well, way more than that, actually, uh, thinking about it. And, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll leave the rest in here as, as kind of something that if it goes up to 100 bucks or 60 bucks or whatever, that's cool. I can let that run, and it doesn't matter if it goes up, down, or sideways, right? Uh, I'll just leave this in for the rest of the run, and I'm already like a, a year ahead of schedule now with what, what I've got left in anyway. So it's cool. That's all good there for my investments. And what I will say with Ethereum, just kind of closing that out here, is um, let me just refresh this. It's, it's, it's a trading view, a little glitchy glitch coming through. Oh, it's not working. Okay. Um, let's just do this. Boom, no, nope, not happening. Not happening here. What I will say is, yes, uh, pretty much the same scenario here with Bitcoin uh, and Ethereum, where we are in between moving averages, we are in that kind of big chop zone. Big chop coming through. Uh, so, uh, what can I what can I get rid of here to make this a bit easier to digest? Uh, let's just do that. Boom. Okay, yeah, that's better. So, um, yeah, you can see we're in the, in the big chop here on every time frame, right? This is not something that's too different to, to Bitcoin to say the least, right? So what we're looking for here is really maintenance above this area. If we can continue up, if we can make another nice pattern here, that's great. And we're looking for that next measure move off of that pattern, right? Really putting that simply. I don't want to spend too much time on it because it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, we are in the zone where we can l let it do its thing, right? You don't need to be trading right now, okay? You just need to be waiting for that uptrend to resume and then continue it, right? Uh, that's all good. Uh, and if we do go down lower, we get a better entry when that uptrend does um, start again, right? That's all good. That's what we're looking for here. Uh, so this should be like kind of where your entry is. As, as these lines come down, uh, as we do make patterns here, uh, then you can uh, you can get that entry solid, right? And you can get that entry a lot lower, right? If you're trying to enter here and we go down lower, you're gonna have a bad time. You're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, so that's, that's what I would say there. Uh, and that's essentially pretty much the video, guys. Um, uh, this is link, obviously. Um, but it's the same on everything, right? It's exactly the same on everything. This is what we're looking at right now. This is it. Uh, this is this is what we're, we're going for here. Dot does look pretty good, though. It, it does look like uh, it wants to continue up. It does look pretty nice. Uh, and yeah, as I said, I'm not trading this. I've taken out half my investment because this is a, a very nice... Uh, this, is a, this is a ridiculously good trade. I'm very, very happy with this trade, right, as I said. So yeah, we continue up. Not a problem. We go down. Not a problem. We are chilling here. That's fine, okay? Uh, we come up here, I make even more money. Um, and yeah, it's cool. We don't think about what we could make, we think about what we made, okay? That's cool. Secure your profit, secure your trade, uh, and just keep it calm, keep it chill here. Keep it gentle, but very firm indeed. That's what we like. So that is the video here. That's going to be it. Have a fantastic Wednesday, guys. Have a fantastic one. And I will say, webinar tonight, okay? Big old girthy webinar tonight. Just sign up. It's right there on your screen right there, okay? And if you haven't liked the video already and you haven't made it this far, uh, I would appreciate a like so we can spread that love to more people uh, and, and not really uh, have them fall for the affiliate link trap, which I do think is criminal. Uh, and no one really is clocking onto this. A lot of these affiliate uh, YouTubers are literally just making money from you guys losing money and not really teaching you how to trade. So for me... Yeah, I'm not really here to give you a forecast. Um, this is kind of education disguised as a forecast, if that makes sense, right? Uh, I will always say in my videos, don't trade what I'm saying as signals, but you should be improving your mind and the way you're looking at the chart by watching these videos. That's my goal here at the end of the day. So uh, yeah, if you want to learn a bit more, we're going to be going through some mindset, some risk management and a strategy that just works, okay? Using moving averages, uh, completely free to set up, completely free. You, you need a, tr a free trading view account, which again is, is easy. Um, and yeah, 
all good there. So I'll see you tonight if that does apply to you. If not, have a have have a mad have a mad a mad Wednesday. <laughs> Just lost my words. Here. Uh, have a mad Wednesday, guys. Have an incredible one. I will see you tomorrow for another video. Peace out and goodbye. <laughs> From Bitcoin Base. I need to wake up.